welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys we're doing a copa america 2024 my early predictions keep in mind these are early predictions being recorded at the month of december 2023 the actual tournament will start in june 2024 so remember guys these are just predictions i'm making right now and i am subject to change these predictions because i'm sure when we get to the actual tournament i'm probably revising my predictions i probably won't have the same exact predictions as i'm doing this video so we predict the entire tournament from start to finish remember guys like and subscribe let me know your early predictions comment below guys and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started so let's start with group a guys group a we have here it is uh argentina uh, peru chile and canada slash trinidad and tobago coming to the top of the group is Argentina. i expect Argentina to cakewalk this group they should be getting minimum seven points and then second place for me i went with chile the reason why i went with chile in second place is because I feel like of all teams of this group, I think Chile have the best chance to get a result against Argentina because we've seen Argentina and Chile have played against each other so many in the last several matchups. And Chile have been able to get some draws. They've been able to get some draws, which I think could be the difference. You know, because you would probably expect Argentina to beat Peru. You would probably expect Argentina to beat either Trinidad, Tobago, and or Canada. And I could see a scenario where Argentina, um, you know, drop points against Chile. Right? So... I just think that for me, Argentina should top this group, and I think Chile will just about get through in second place uh, for me for this group. And then we have the group of death, guys. The group of death. We have this one. We have Mexico, Ecuador, uh, Venezuela, and Jamaica. Coming in top of the group is Ecuador. I think for me, Ecuador looks fantastic. Defensively, these guys look really solid. I've been really, really impressed with Ecuador, and I think they've been looking very good. And then second place, I went with Mexico. The reason why I went with Mexico in second place See, Jamaica, for me, I just feel like, for me, as good as they are, I feel like Mexico have a really good record against Jamaica. In Jamaica, I just don't think they can beat, defeat Mexico. Okay? And then Venezuela, for me, they're going to make things close, but I just don't think Venezuela will be consistent enough. I think Venezuela will play well, but I don't think they'll be able to get rack up the enough points that they need to. And I feel like Mexico, they usually turn up in these tournaments, and they're like a tournament type of team, so they usually turn up. So I think Mexico will get through in second place just about, maybe on goal difference, I'll say they just about do it. Group C, uh, for me, Uruguay is going to top this group. I think Uruguay, for me, are hands down probably the most informed team right now in South America. I mean, they just defeated two of the biggest teams in, Bra in Argentina and Brazil in the last couple of, just this year alone, which is incredible. And this is the first time they've done it in a long time, right? And we would say Argentina and Brazil are probably the best two teams in Condobo right now, just on current, just in general, historically speaking. And the fact that Uruguay did it is quite convincingly. And I'm just really dreading that matchup that we bielsa versus vibes on the final match day united states we should be able to get through in second place we should be able to get through a second place and while this isn't an easy group per se this isn't a very hard group that we should be able to defeat uh panama and we should be able to defeat bolivia so we play bolivia first on match day one and then bolivia so hopefully the united states can pull through and top this group i would love to see it but i think for us to top this group we would have to probably do this on goal difference and group d I have Brazil to top the group. I think Brazil will be able to top this group. Even though Brazil have not been looking great recently, I think Brazil should still be able to top this group as of right now. And I feel like they'll be able to get through on goal difference. And then Colombia, I think, will do it in second place. I think Colombia will get through in second place just about. So, um, we're going to go ahead and move on to knockout stage. So, the quarterfinals, they have Argentina versus Mexico. Argentina should be able to beat Mexico there. Uh, move on to the semifinals. Ecuador versus Chile. I have Ecuador to prevail in that one. Uruguay versus Colombia. This has happened a lot of times the last couple of Copa Americas. I think Uruguay will get revenge for 2021 and progress to the semifinals and the Brazil versus the United States. Unfortunately, this is where I think it ends for the United States here. I think Brazil will comfortably beat us. Then in the semifinals, I have RJ versus Ecuador. I think RJ will be, be able to beat Ecuador. And then Brazil versus Uruguay should be a very interesting matchup. I'm going to go with Uruguay to prevail as of right now. And then, of course, we have the final RJ versus Uruguay. This will be a great, great final. And I think Uruguay could honestly win this. But I'm going to go Argentina to win this. I just think for me, Argentina are still, in my opinion, the favorites for the Copa America. So those are my predictions for the Copa America, guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Let me know what you disagree with, what you agree with. And yeah, like I said, guys, let's see how this ages. Peace out, guys.